Okay, so um, this is the uh, BJ's Black Friday Steals. And uh, I know this Black Friday, in order to uh, basically equip my new house, I'm going to be purchasing a couple of things. And there were just a couple of sales that I had seen that I just wanted to talk about because I'm not sure if anybody else noticed this. But um, as far as televisions go, everybody's pretty much got sales on televisions. But BJ's had some amazing sales on televisions that I had to talk about. For one, right here, as you can see, they have the LG UHD. These are all 4K televisions. And they got the 75 inches, 75 inches for $949. So that's less than $1,000. Now, not too long ago, I talked about the fact that Target had a 70-inch Vizio. Um, that was under a thousand dollars because typically around this time, what I've seen for the like at last two years about Walmart will typically have a uh, seventy-inch like Vizio or you know I like Vizio. It's a brand I trust because I've bought like three Vizio televisions, but um, a seventy-five-inch for nine hundred and forty-nine dollars to me is unheard of up until this point because when you think about it, like my eighty-inch television, you would have to spend you know like over two thousand dollars to get that like for instance they have an 86 which is uh what is that that's another lg and that one's twenty five hundred dollars and it's like they're pushing the size up but they refuse to make a hundred inch television for some reason i always wanted a hundred inches i just like the idea of having a hundred inches you know my uh electricity bill would be damned but you know I, so anyway 75 inches 949 dollars it's a 4k television now, there's always somebody who'll be like, oh, yeah, well, it doesn't have uh, this, and it doesn't have that, and it doesn't... Yeah, listen, it's 75 fucking inches, and it's $1,000, basically. I I mean, there's no argument. I mean, it's like, I wanted to get that out there because there's a lot of people probably didn't even see this because I haven't noticed it on any other, uh, what is it, websites, anybody selling a television that size for that price and you'll also notice that 70 inch televisions just like the one that i talked about at target have also dropped in price because now this one's less than 900 dollars. now when you're thinking about like 869 versus 949 for that extra five inches i mean you know it's basically the same damn technology this is the thin q technology right here and then this is just um this doesn't have the thin Q, however, it's basically the same LG technology besides that thinness and whatnot. They don't have to make it thin if they stretch it out another five inches. It allows you to, you know, move that electronics a little bit um, over to the sides and whatnot. So anyway, 50-inch sharp televisions, $269. Now, as far as I know, these are not door busters. These sales, retail has getting their asses kicked so bad that right now they're running these sales. So it says Friday, November 16th to Monday, November 26th while supplies last. As far as I know, as far as I know, most of these sales are going to begin then. And some of these prices you can already find if you go to certain stores like Walmart, who's selling 70 inch televisions under $1,000, and Target, like I've showed you, but you gotta get to them before the sale is over. You got to get to them while supplies are in. So there was television I was considering getting. Um, I, w I was thinking about that 75 inch because it, it kind of wouldn't make sense to buy a 70 if I could get a 75 for like 60 bucks more. I'll just use some YouTube money and buy that shit. And uh, after all, Black Friday is directly after we get paid from YouTube. We get paid on the 23rd. So uh, that's really nice to everybody who's making their YouTube money. And uh, I definitely want to get a sleeper couch. And uh, these right here are not sleepers. These are This is all BJ stuff. These aren't sleepers. And um, I, was, I was looking at uh, so a couple of other furniture stores to see what they had. But um, I, I definitely want to get a couch that looks kind of just like this one back here. But it has to have a sleeper in it. The other thing I have to buy is I got to buy a washer and dryer. Now... This is the BJ's sale, $400 for either one, washer or dryer. Now, they do have slightly more expensive ones, but to tell you the truth, I have a Kenmore model that I got from Sears. I didn't even bother to get the insurance, and that Kenmore model lasted me 10 whole years without insurance, and I never had to call, never had to have it serviced. Someday, it's going to probably burn out, 
thing about it is the damn thing's been going strong for a long time, and I'm amazed that that Kenmore has lasted this long. I stay away from the computer technology and the Samsungs and all that because, you know, Samsung, they had washers and dryers exploding and shit back when they had them Galaxy 7s exploding. You remember I had fun covering that. I mean, the goddamn things were spinning so hard that they were literally exploding. They had exploding washing machines. Like, I've never heard of no shit like that before. And I got people trolling me and they're like, oh, yeah, you should buy a Samsung Galaxy Note. Not on your life. I remember when they wouldn't even let you get on a plane if you had a Galaxy phone. And you know how I travel. I travel to Asia for that fresh Asian scooch. So you know damn well I'm not taking no chance being on no plane. And they got to turn the whole plane around go back to JFK simply because I got a Galaxy 7 in my pocket. That shit ain't happening. You remember the shoe bomber? You know how he had a shoe bomb? Well, imagine having a cell phone bomb in your pocket and you didn't even realize that shit was in your pocket. Or you didn't realize it was a bomb. You thought it was just a phone. He's like, oh, well, I'm really sorry, TSA. I just thought I was finalizing a video. And then the shit exploded and took out part of the plane. Okay. I definitely have to get a refrigerator. But I'm going to show you where I'm going to get that. Because I'm going to get that from Sears. Um, I have, like, crock pots and stuff. I have... I do want to get a Keurig, and I noticed that they're selling, you know, sales on Keurigs. I like Keurigs because sometimes, like, I like making hot chocolate single serves, and I like... Oh, these are $49 each. Now, this doesn't have the little computer screen on it, so I definitely wouldn't buy that. I'd rather pay more and get the one that has the little computer screen because I have one of those. And it uh, works really well, but I'm definitely going to get a, a newer one because after a while, you got to clean those things out because the filters start to get, like, rusty and they start to get corrosion in them. So I already have my pot sets. I already got that. I do definitely need a knife block. Now, if you've got a chick living with you and you ever get into heated arguments, you got to be really careful getting these knife blocks because sooner or later, one of them probably will be used against you. And, um, you know, the sad thing is sometimes the chicks, they reach for the, uh, the largest knife that they can get. And the problem is sometimes they pull out the poker rather than like the big sharp knife so they can cut you up. So, um, you know, you might want to have them labeled, too, to make it easier for them. You know, we're all about women's rights over here. Okay, so, um, luggage. I might end up getting a luggage set of some type, but that I won't know until the end of December. As I think I mentioned, some of my friends want to go to Thailand, and they want me to plan a trip to Thailand. I don't know if I'm really going to go to Thailand, but... In a worst case scenario, I might end up going back to the Philippines and I don't know. I really don't know. But if I do anything, it'll be in July. That's for certain. See, the problem is with Donald Trump's tax scam. Oh, I'm sorry. I mean tax bill. Uh, people in my area are going to find out real quick that they can't uh, take off more than $10,000 on their mortgage tax deduction, right? So honestly, I have no idea what my taxes are going to look like. I do know that I'll be fine because my taxes are under $6,000, so I don't know what I'm going to get back. But the thing about it is hopefully I get a lot back. And depending upon what I get back and depending upon how my YouTube money is flowing, I might go on a very nice vacation again just like I did to South Korea. I had a lot of fun. And if you watch the videos that I made about South Korea and Manila, you'll know I had a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun. But if I go to Thailand, I'm definitely probably going to go to Cambodia too. Because see, my method of doing things is I like to get two for the price of one. So if I go to one country, I always go to the second. Like I went to Dubai, I went to Seychelles at the same time. I went to South Korea, I went to Manila at the same time. If I go to Thailand, I would go to Cambodia or I would go to like Vietnam. However, Cambodia and Vietnam are actually the trip I'd rather take simultaneously. So, uh, we'll see about that. We'll see about that. Okay. Let's see. More televisions. It's like China is literally shitting out televisions. China is shitting these televisions out. Magnavox 32-inch, $129. So you can literally buy a gigantic 75-inch television for cheaper than I bought my iPhone. $500 cheaper, in fact. It's amazing. China is shitting this stuff out. We're sending all of our American dollars over there. 
and we're basically exporting inflation. And then, since they can't use American dollars over there, what they do is they save that shit and then they come over here and buy up all the goddamn property and call it gentrification. And it makes it harder for people like me to find choice properties when we have cash because you've always got some Asian person with a bag of cash who can easily outbid you on everything you're looking to buy. And that's a pain in the ass. So we have the LG 43 is a $259, a 43-inch television. But as you can see, television, I'm surprised everybody doesn't have a 50-inch television by now. Now you see this knife block. This is a nice knife block. But um, it's not as big as that other knife block. But my thing is, I, I kind of like getting the stainless steel pommels. Because when you have stainless steel, first of all, it stands out like when it's in your, um, your dish pan. And uh, it's easier to clean. Spaz Aspen Personal Jet. Well, that looks cute right there. He looks like he's about to get it on. For just $2,200, you can get it on. I'd put that in, I'd like to put that in my Florida room. That would be nice, but I think the roundness makes it too big. Okay, let's see. Bottle wine fridge. Well, as you know, I just did a review because there was a company that um, gave me one so that I could review it on my channel. So if you look a couple of videos back, if you didn't already see it, you'll know that I got one for free. $239 value. Love that company. So they got a $1,399 fabric living room set. But if this is like, if this is like leather, that would be interesting. But if it's like that microfiber, I don't like that shit. Because microfiber, it's like you get these people, you go over to their house, they got pets and shit, and their hair is everywhere. Look at this, $129 snowblower, and it's electric, so you stay away from that shit. Nuh uh you don't want no electric snowblower, trust me, those things suck. I, I watched a guy next door, see, every you've seen my snowblower videos. I'm the only person I know who makes videos about SRT products and snowblowers. And you've seen my snowblower videos. And I made one where I was out there. When I pull out my snowblower, all these people who are wasting all their money giving their children cell phones and tablets and shit, I pull. I wait until 5 o'clock during blizzards. When there's a blizzard, I will wait until 5 o'clock in the day. I will go outside, and when I pull out that snowblower, everybody else is busy, their backs hurt, their feet are freezing, and then they hear me rev that snowblower up. And they all step back like cavemen staring at me like I just discovered fire. It's amazing. And I just look at them. I'm like, yeah, well, guess what, guys? I went to the Black Friday sale and I paid $500 for this while you were wasting your money buying your kids' cell phones, especially those Android phones. You were wasting your money. So because I didn't waste my money, I have a snowblower. So what you should do is not waste your money, and you should turn your kids' cell phones off, and then you should make them get a job so they learn how to appreciate stuff, and this way maybe that'll instill some Republican values in them. And then you should take all that money you save, you should go get yourself a snowblower. Otherwise, you'll be outside shoveling and shit, I'll come outside at 5 o'clock, it'll take me 10 minutes to move all that snow out of the front of my house and off my yard. And you'll still be out there. You'll be freezing your ass off. And you'll be like, oh, gee, where'd he get that snowblower? And then these people stare at me like I'm supposed to walk down the street and help them. I'm not helping you. Now, some of my older neighbors, okay. Some of the hot chicks on the block who I actually give a damn about, okay. But as for your man broke ass who decided to waste all your money, I am not helping you do nada. So I suggest you manage your money a little bit better. Gun safe. See, you know you're in America when you got a gun safe for $329. You know you're in America. He's like, yeah, you can store all your rifles and everything. Keep them out of uh, reach of your children. They got magnetic fucking pistol holders. You know that's America right there, boy. You know that's America. Okay, fire safe. I don't need any of that. So basically, I'm pretty sure. So it's a washer, a dryer. I got to get a king-size bed platform. And I got to probably get a fridge. So let me show you the fridge that I'm looking at. Okay. So right here on my uh, Alienware, this beautiful Alienware 34-inch curved gaming monitor. I love this. Just like my Alienware uh, computer right here. Um, I'm definitely probably going to end up upgrading my hard drive uh, capacity because uh, they have like hard drives a lot cheaper. You can get terabyte hard drive for like $150. 
So, you know, Black Friday is an amazing time of year. It's like they keep all these sales just brewing and waiting to get you to come out and spend all your money at once. Because I know I'm going to blow about $5,000 because the washer dryer already is $1,000. And then there's the refrigerator. I got to get a new refrigerator. So I'm thinking a French door refrigerator. And there was one specific model that I saw that was a little less than $1,000. And it was a French door refrigerator right here. On This is the Home Depot thing. Now, I don't know if Sears has the same fridge, but I'm going to probably check to see if they have the same one. So, um, basically, I had to shop by height because there's a cabinet, uh, there's a cabinet height requirement, height of the top of the refrigerator. And the one that I saw, and I saw this in the store, I actually like this one. And, um, it's, see, some people like having digital computers and shit all over the fucking, com the, the refrigerator. It's like, I don't need that. Like, I have an uncle who's got one that has a picture slideshow, and it's got like, it looks like a television, but it just plays pictures. And I'm like, yo, I don't need all that stuff. All I want, I want to keep the computers out of it altogether. I, I want to get it nice and simple so this way there's less shit that can break. Now, unfortunately, this is a Samsung model, and since I don't trust their cell phones, it's also possible their refrigerators explode, too. But um, this one I liked, and this one right here is a French door refrigerator with a bottom freezer. And looks pretty good. I mean, it's nice and simple. It's very Spartan, and, um, you know, it holds enough stuff right there. You know, uh, apparently people put cakes in their refrigerator and they don't bother to cover them up. But that, you know, that causes them to dry out. I don't know what that's about. So um, this is what it's supposed to look like if you're a rich person and you have like a wine cubby above your refrigerator. Okay. I don't have a wine cubby, but as you know, I have a, a beer wine refrigerator that was given to me that I reviewed. So lucky me. I've got two little, refri I got one refrigerator and I'm going to get this big one. Okay. And this looks pretty good, and uh, I just want to, when I do my inspection of the house, I have to do that tomorrow. What I'm going to do is I'm going to check the uh, dimensions of the refrigerator that's already there, and then I'll probably have that bleached and cleaned out, and then I'll put that in the basement. So as for Home Depot's appliances, what I noticed was the BJ's appliance that I saw, and those were relatively cheap, the BJ's ones were actually slightly more expensive. They were like $100 more. But they have washer dryer sets, so what they try to do is they know that you're probably going to get a washer and a dryer, so they try to sell you both at the same time. Um, which one did I see? Um, they have dryers, washers and dryers under $600, and then they have washer dryer pairs. That's kind of where I was looking, because I already know I'm going to spend like $1,200 on this shit when you factor in taxes and God knows what the delivery fee is. But, um... These are six forty eight a piece, but I saw these things like last week. Full, oh yeah, yeah. Some of them were cheaper. Now they have some that have like glass doors and everything. You're gonna pay like five ninety or something for those. And this is more along the lines of what I already have, like the Kenmore. The only thing about it is it, it just it's no stylish because it doesn't have the glass door here. It doesn't have the glass door here. Meanwhile, everything else has the glass door and everything. But you don't need to spend more than five forty-eight. In fact, I'd, I'll look for that picture. In fact, because I know I took a photo of that washer dryer. I know I took a photo of that washer dryer. Um, where is it? Where is it? Okay, it's probably in home decorations. Yeah, I, I, I file stuff pretty good. Oh, in fact, nope, 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 nope. I'll go back. It's not there. Okay, so I got to get a washer and a dryer. And where is it? Let's see. Yeah, see, here you go. Trump is Trump is here. Watch it on television. As you know, I didn't really say anything political lately. But as you know, Trump's ass is in trouble. He's in so much fucking trouble that this house has now been taken over by the Democrats, which I, I've been saying it was going to happen. I've been saying he was going to get repudiated. I didn't realize that the Senate would come so close, but the thing about it is two years is a long time. You never know. Every now and then people resign and shit, and you never know what could happen. What I will say, though, is the House is actually a very powerful position for Democrats to have right now because now they don't have to sit there silent anymore. Now they can actually attack them a little if they have to, and now... 
they can also set the policy. Because the thing about it is um, Jeff Sessions suddenly resigning today should tell you that these people are up to no good. And suggesting that you resign is basically a way to keep your ass off of the witness stand against me. You know what? In, in, in that movie, uh, what was it called? Um, Independence Day? You remember how he said two words, Mr. President? Plausible deniability. That means that everybody else for my crime will get busted, but it'll get all the way up to me, and you'll never be able to get me because I have plausible deniability. And I'm sure there's people listening to what I'm saying and getting angry. Well, that's your goddamn problem because I went out and vote. Well, you know, it's like I, I could care less what you think. I'm sorry. So anyway, um, let's see. Front load washers, washing machines. I want a top load washer, front load dryer. And uh, they got some nice models here. They got some nice models. And I'm getting an electric dryer. Let's see. Um, price range 500 to 600. I only have 14. So basically, uh, yeah, I think the one I saw was this one right here. It was a it was, again, it was a Samsung. So basically, there is a possibility that if they make it worth my while, I'll probably end up getting the Samsung. Even though what I should do is the smart thing, and I should get the regular Whirlpool or the regular Maytag. However, they do have a Maytag that has the uh, clear glass door where you can see inside, and you can wash your clothes while you're watching them. And those are five, these are all like 548. Now, I'd rather stay away from the um, high end computers because that shit breaks. You know, I've heard good things about people who've had Maytag because a lot of these things are really generic machines anyway, and they just tag them up and, you know, and they make you think that you're getting more. But see, me personally, I actually stay away from the computers and I just like regular dials. And when you get regular dials and stuff, it's like you can wash your clothes and everything, and you don't have to worry about a computer breaking. And that's why the one that I have lasted 10 years. In fact, yeah, let me so show anyway, you. this is a Kenmore Model 800, and I've had this for 10 whole years. And as you can see, regular technology, no computers, nothing advanced, and this thing has lasted 10 years. So when some people would be like, oh yeah, well Sears ain't shit. Well, I can say at least that I bought my Kenmore 800 series washer and dryer, and the damn thing has literally lasted 10 years. I bought no warranty. I didn't buy any warranty on it, and I just used it regularly, and the thing has lasted, lasted 10 years. I mean, I can't give you a better testimonial or a review than that. And this is the dryer. And look how clean and nice it is. I, I have not cleaned this thing. And, you know, you got some heat, exhaust, corrosion, I guess you could say. And I only, all I ever do is I just um, dump the, uh, what is it, the, oh, shit, look at that. God damn, I got to do something about that. So what I'm going to have to do is uh, dump this out. But um, my only maintenance on this thing is to dump out the uh, filter. And that's it. And 10 whole years. It's amazing. So I wouldn't even mind getting another one of these from Sears. If I can get the same model, I'd probably get the same exact model. The only problem is I have to get an electric. This one's gas. But um, hey, if it works, it works.